Rex from Newport, New Hampshire. And can you tell us what this actually is? Sure. What we have here is a solid state amplifier made with type 46 tubes, the power supply. And uh, this was designed on the classic breadboard style. You have a, uh, an input set of input terminals over here. Power supply comes in on this side. There's tuning and neutralization for the uh, tubes. This would be connected to a crystal oscillator or a VFO to provide your signal source. And it's a, uh, an amplifier that would boost your signal up to 10 to 20 watts. And you have coils to plug in for changing bands, 80 meters and 40 meter coils. You put in your oscillator here, apply power to the tubes, let them warm up, tune everything for the frequency of interest. And as we say, the, uh, the music comes in here from the CW key, goes round and round, and comes out here. And where did this c come from? This was built by Ed McCarthy, W1YT. And why did he build it? He built it because he loved the magic of radio. He's a merchant marine operator during World War II, has been homebrewing equipment for years, and uh, took this on as uh, something he enjoyed doing. <laughs> I'm Bruce Befford, N1RX with the New England QRP Club. And what are you showing us today? Today what we have here is a transceiver, a solid state dual band transceiver designed by Steve Weber, KD1JV of Randolph, New Hampshire. And he designs and sells these kits to the amateur community, typically in small batches, 100 to 200 or so. This is his latest called the Mountain Topper Radio. This is a dual band transceiver for 20 meters and 40 meters. Direct digital synthesis covers the entire range of each band and is built by the uh, individual operator. He's designed them to be small and lightweight, typically carried on hiking trips and uh, mountaintop expeditions. This is the evolution of what he calls his AT series, the Appalachian Trail Sprint Radios. He designed these because he's a through hiker from on the Appalachian Trail, wants to carry a small lightweight radio. So this is designed to be small enough to be built inside a mint tin, typically an Altoids tin. I haven't put a label on this one yet, but this particular one has three slide switches to select which of two bands you want to be on. It'll announce in Morse code in the headphones what frequency you're operating on. It'll also display on the digital display. The whole thing weighs about 2 ounces. On 12 volts, produces 5 watts out. On 9 volts, produces 2 to 3 watts out. 